Good morning, it's Mr. Mice Guy, and in this video we're going to take a peek at um, eight day old pups that are 75% wild. So uh, here they are. I haven't done any videos on my wild pups. Oops, <laughs> what just happened? How did I miss what just happened? Um, so I haven't done any videos on my wild pups recently, um, and that's partly because we just haven't had a lot of them and because they are a pain in the butt to manage sometimes, but um, here is the latest litter. So I'm actually kind of, this is, a, this is interesting, There's some interesting stuff going on here. So in all of the pups that I've had, and I've had many litters of hybrid pups, um, uh, so when you, when you, the first generation of hybrids are always a goody, and so they're at half domestic and they're half wild we know that for sure but then if you do a sibling pair um, I would consider those uh, the offspring of that pairing to still be 50% but the reality is is that they are like about 50% wild um, we wouldn't know exactly um, how much wild or uh, domestic they have because their genes have all been uh, recombined and shuffled and assorted uh, and so uh, they'll be homozygous for certain genes that are domestic and homozygous for certain genes that are uh, wild, whereas that first hybrid generation, uh, they are heterozygous for all the wild genes and they are heterozygous for all the domestic genes. Um, and so with this batch, um, they are obviously not a first generation mix. Um, on their mother's side, they're like a fifth, sixth, seventh generation mix, and then on their father's side, they are a third generation mix um, from a wild ancestry. They have two different wild ancestors. Anyways, um, with the other litters that I've gotten uh, for the wild hybrids, I've gotten almost exclusively, not, not exclusively, but almost exclusively either Agouti pups or Argenti pups. Um, I did get one blue Agouti once, and I did get two silvery looking pups. Um, but in this litter, I have a bunch of colors. Uh, so this is the first time that I've had this much variation in uh, a wild hybrid litter. Um, and I'm kind of excited because they are 75%. Um, and so, yeah, so uh, what's going on here? So I, let me grab my, my pointer paintbrush here. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on. Actually, let me remove some of this bedding so that we can see them better. Uh, so how many we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. Um, plenty of females in here too. I did check them before. I forget what they are, but um, there's a there's a mix here. Um, so what might stand out immediately, or what stood out immediately to me, is one of them is is satin here. Um, and I have no clue what color this satin one is. Um, I'm thinking it might be satin agouti, which I have not had yet. So that might be why I, I can't, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, very shiny. Looks like a slick, like greasy or something. <laughs> Can you see that? Um, it's hard to pick up satin in pictures. But I feel like when I do this, and you can see that, you can really tell how shiny uh, they are. It almost looks like he was coated, or or she, let's, let's check that out. Um, he or she was coated, I believe this is a female. Oh, uh, no, no. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell right now. My first guess is female. Um, they're very, like, uh, flaky on the bottom here for some reason, but yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe a goody satin and uh, interesting. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, well, I mean, it just means that they, they have two copies of the satin gene. That's what it means. Um, this one here is is definitely a goody. Going to be a pl oops, runaway pop. Uh, this one is it's a male, I believe. It's a male. Um, and is definitely going to be your standard agouti colored pup. Um, and then we have some blue ones, which, you know, I, I know that the line carries blue, um, but this is the first time I've had 
so many blue pups. So it's, it's kind of shocking that we've had so many of them in this litter. And in all of the other litters, when I've had a pup that was a different color, it would just be like one pup that, was, <laughs> that wasn't a goody. Uh, and so we've got a bunch. We've got the, the three here that I think are blue. Um, we've got this one, this one, this one I think are blue. And then we've got the shiny one, which I have no idea what the shiny one is. And then we have a black one. What is going on? This is so exciting. Um, and yeah, this is female. Uh, female here too. Um, yeah, this is really exciting for me. Um, my goal is to get tiny mice uh, that have domestic coloring. And so these are, I do have, a, I do have one mouse uh, so far, a male that is 75% wild and who is Argenti. Um, but other than him, these are, this is the second batch of 75% uh, wild pups that I've had. Um, all of the other mice have been, I'm not 75, not 75, they're like 62.5, I apologize. 62.5, their, their father is 75%. Um, this is the highest, uh, other than that first litter, uh, that any of my mice have been as far as their percentage, their estimated percentage of wild genes. Um, so hopefully they will be pretty tiny. Um, I will be paying attention to their size and selecting the smallest ones. Um, selecting for smallness is kind of a challenge because we want to select for small because they are like healthy and small. And I don't want to select for small because they are sickly. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, so that can be a challenge. All of these pups look pretty good right now. Um, something else that's interesting here is, uh, I think that you can see that, that they have head spots. That's not coming off. That's, that's not a stain. That's a head spot. Head spot. I think they all have head spots. She's got, this one, you can't see it quite as well, but it has one. Um, these have it, has it, yeah I think they all have some sort of head spot. Yeah, that one's very faint, but it's there. Um, yeah, so they all have some sort of head spot, and uh, the cool thing is, is that the head spot actually comes from the wild mice, I believe. Um, I have never had any domestic mice that have a head spot. Um, but the, so this most recent, um, infusion of wild genes that I've had, so they're, uh, I'm trying to figure this out. So their father is a ha hybrid, uh, 50% hybrid, and he has a head spot. And I don't know who his father is. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I do know who his father is. I don't know who his grandfather is on the wild side. Um, I have their mother, and I can't remember if the mother had a head spot, um, you know, they, they, I don't remember if their wild grandmother had a head spot, uh, but I do know that their 50%, um, I'm getting all confused here, <laughs> that their, their father, who's 50% wild, has a prominent head spot, and they all have one. So I'm guessing that that might be a dominant trait, it might be a dominant head spot, um, and that makes me wonder if it's on, like, the, uh, the W the W locus, um, as opposed to, uh, the other kind of spotting. It's early. I film these things so early in the morning, my brain's not working yet. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see the guys, um, these guys. And I, again, I, I don't film them a lot because I don't have a lot, but also because they, they get really intense really quick, um, as far as not being manageable. Um, and so they aren't, pleasant or easy to um, to film. But basically my goal is to get mice that are a high percentage of wild um, so that they're very tiny um, before I start crossing to domestic lines again. And then I'll like start the whole process over again where I will out you know, outcross to domestics and then I'll like do sibling pairings or pairing back to these guys to like improve their temperament but try to keep their tiny size. Um, I did mention these are eight days old, and it might not be obvious, but they do seem, even when they're born, they are smaller uh, than other pups. Um, 
So yeah, these are exciting. Very, very pleased with these guys. Um, and then when I breed these to my other 62% wild one, which they will be, um, uh, what will they be? These will be half, half siblings, I think. Um, they're probably more than half siblings because even though they have different mothers, um, they have the same father, different mothers, but even though they have different mothers, their mothers are also related. <laughs> so I don't know exactly how that, I don't know. I don't know what, how you want to call that. But, um, their mothers, I don't believe, are sister. I think they might be aunt and niece. Uh, but, um, yeah, so once I breed them with uh, the other male that I have, um, a lot of their pups should be should be this size, uh, or should be pretty tiny. Uh, and we'll, I'll estimate them to be about 62% wild. So, yeah, I'm excited. And their temperature, their temperament doesn't doesn't seem bad, which is kind of surprising. Um, uh, so, why? I, I don't know. I don't know why that is, but even though their mother is fifty percent wild, her temperament's not terrible either. But yeah, that's my latest sixty-two. Uh, it's like 62.5% wild litter. Um, so I am going to get them back with their mom. Um, and I will uh, I will stop in periodically with updates on these guys. And uh, yeah, so don't forget to check out my website, MrMiceGuy.com. Like, subscribe, check out Instagram at MrMiceGuy. And I will see you tomorrow.